two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, everything I understand, compound interest, uh, with them also in grade 10. Yes. Uh, o- only thing I don't uh, understand is uh, nominal and effective interest. Uh, I'm a little lost there. My teacher didn't explain to me as well. Okay, but do you have a specific question where that is the being used as a as question itself? Um, okay, let me see. Okay, let me explain to you. You know uh, when when you when you're working out compound interest for like one year. Yeah. You know you get you get that uh, you get that answer. Uh-huh. Then you know working out for the second year, you use the amount from the first year. Yes. For the second year. Mm-hmm. That's for the one uh, the one time we did it in class. But the next time I went to class. We never use the amount that we had from the first year. We use the the first amount that we had. But you use the formula. But did you yeah. use a formula? Yes. Okay. Yep. Let let me show you quickly. If you, for instance, have say a thousand rand, okay, and you work at ten percent, then at the end of the first year or at the beginning of the second year, you'll get ten percent of a thousand, which is a hundred, added to that. So now you'll have one thousand one hundred. Yeah, okay. That's okay that's and okay. then you take another 10%, which will now give you 110 rand. Added to that will give you 1,210, and so forth and so okay. forth. That that process you understand. Yeah, okay, but you see now, uh, you see when it's the second year, mm-hmm. do you use the first amount? No, 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 no. I'm going to explain to you now. What I've done is I've used year by year by year. Okay. Which is fine, I mean there's nothing wrong with this, but what if you want to do something over 20 years? You don't want to sit there and do it 20 times over. So that's why we've got a formula for compound interest, which looks like this. Okay, do you recognize that formula? Where that value of P is the initial amount, so that's a thousand. 1 plus R is the interest, so that's 10 over 100, to the power of N, where N is the number of years. So now we'll say, we have worked this out for 2 years, so let's do this to the power of 2. And the answer that we'll get will be A, which will be the final amount. Okay? So do you have a calculator there? Oh, let me... No, not okay, let me just get one. Okay. Um, what I, let me just show you what I've done. One plus ten over a hundred gives me one comma one. Okay, to the power of two. So what is one comma one to the power of two? One comma one to the power. Okay, uh, I don't have a scientific calculator, so I. Okay, just say one comma one times by one comma one. Oh, one, yeah. Oh, one, two, one. Okay, times by a thousand. One thousand two hundred and ten. Okay, which is exactly what we got there. Yeah. After two years. So, the difference between working it out year by year and working it out with the formula is that if you have the formula, you can work it out over any number of years. That's why the N comes in any number of years, but then you will always use the very first amount for P. Whereas if you work it out year by year, you always use the previous amount. If you have to physically work it out year by year. Oh, 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 oh. You you understand the difference between the two? Yes. Okay, now, now the other thing that I just need to tell you, if we look at the fact that we've started with a thousand, and we ended up with 1,210. The annual interest rate was 10%. You agree with me? Okay, but let's find out what percentage 
we had to take a thousand to become a thousand two hundred and ten. So we'll use the following formula. We'll say a thousand times by x plus a hundred over a hundred is equal to a thousand two hundred and ten. All right, you still with me? Yeah. Where x is going to be the percentage that will take us directly from a thousand to a thousand two hundred and ten. Okay. So, uh, so we divide both sides by a thousand first. Yeah. All right, so to it cancels that side. So what is one thousand two hundred and ten divided by a thousand? To 1,21. Okay, 1,21. Then we multiply both sides by 100 to get rid of the fraction. So it cancels that side. So x plus 100 is going to be 121. Okay. And then we take the 100 across to get x alone. So 121 minus 100 is 21. Okay. Are you still with me? Yeah. Okay, now what happens now is we say x is 21%. So effectively, to go from the initial amount, 1,000, straight to the 1,210 requires 21%. But we only, we only work with 10% per year. So the 10% t- the is the nominal interest rate. Whereas the 21% is the effective interest rate. Uh, oh, oh, if I get oh, it, if I've got it right, I'm not quite sure yeah. if I'm, I may have confused. You know, the the name nominal and effective might be just the other way around. I can't quite remember as I'm talking to you right now, but that's what it means. The one is the annual or the yearly interest that you use. But the other one, our teacher. Sorry, you breaking up? Um, so uh, let me just get a Okay. Okay, now um you know from the 1000 to the 1210. Uh, mhm. It's one percent, but it's for like uh, no, 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 no. Like, there's no year. Like in one year, you're trying to say. No, no. What I'm saying is, it could be for one year to it, get from a thousand to one thousand two hundred. It could be that they give you the following. Year. You could be given the following: a thousand, and then ten percent per year gives you a thousand one hundred. Okay. For, let's say you work at ten percent. So you've got a thousand with ten percent gives you one thousand one hundred. Another 10% will give you 1,210. Another 10% will be 1,000, what's this now, 421, I think. Okay? And so on, and so on, and so on. You just keep on adding 10% every year. But let's say I want to get from there to there, one go. Then I need to work out the percentage using that that formula. But that will be for one year. No, no, no. There's no years uh, involved. When when you're talking, okay. let's let's say this is called the effective interest rate. Okay? okay. If if I c- get it right, if this is the effective interest rate, there are no years um, connected to it. There's only a year co- okay. year amount connected when you work with the nominal interest rate, not when you work with the effective okay. interest rate. So you don't talk about effective interest rate when you talk about one year or two years or three years or whatever. So what you need okay. to, to remember uh, is that formula there. That's the formula that you need to remember yeah. Yeah, to work out the effective interest rate, which okay. is the X. Okay. Oh, okay. All right, you happy? Yes. And um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, no, you go ahead. I'm okay. Just uh, okay. 